All right, Weed Show, welcome to the uh, nighttime skyline, and thank you, Jimmy Dakotas. Coming through with the pickup uh, I know here. it's dark, but man, that's a long way to the pit, so it let's hammer. It is a long way. Let's go. It's rough. Show us this. Here. Show us this yellow all horsepower. Yeah, I haven't been riding that much lately, so I gotta get some quick fix in here. Uh, yeah, this is it. This I mean, at one point, oh, hammer down. Oh, I like it. Um, hey, uh, I mean, at one point, I think you were saying you were even thinking of racing Foxborough. It's reality oh, catching. It's working man catching up to you, Jimmy D. It did. It really did. It, uh, yeah. At Unadilla, I was there and I raced and I didn't have fun and I was yeah. kind of like, what am I doing? Oh, Unadilla was like, I'm good. That's where I was kind Okay. Of, All right, I've got enough of this. Um, Victory. Other than that, it's yeah. been good. I really did want to do Fox, but I planned on doing it. I just. Uh, where it caught up to me, man. That was all it is. But I still think I might do it one day. I just don't know when. Uh, come on, 2026. Jimmy. Twenty-six. Buddy, right, buddy, quit while you're ahead. You're good. No, you're good. Man, I get the problem was I was at Fox Bar, like I couldn't stop feeling that feeling. Oh, like again, okay, so okay. That's kind of the only reason why I feel that way. I, I thought not doing it once, you'd be like, I'm good. No, it's no, the other way around. Worse. So, uh, a wild night. This is a read show brought to you by Race Tech. Jimmy's helping me get to the pit so we can unpack everything that happened. Um, Look, we kind of celebrate when we get unpredictable nights in Supercross. It's fun and exciting, but not quite this way. The update is KTM just told us a rock broke, I believe, the throttle housing or throttle body, but I think housing on Sexton's bike is stuck wide open. Did you see that crash? I missed the entire thing. Bro, it made I no, missed. he looped out basically on I have jump. to go home and I rewatch every race. Because you're busy I, yeah. shuffling people around. It's tough. He pretty much looped out, which no one at this level is looping no, out. Yeah. So he knew something was up. We make it. No, we're into the pits. We're good. Right in here, Weed. I got you. They said Sexton's banged up, but shouldn't have any major injuries long term. That's obviously a bummer for him. It kind of eliminates him from title. 40 points down. Uh, Roxon, uh, uh, x rays in the rig didn't show anything. So hopefully he's all right. Jimmy D, good job, buddy. Thanks. Yes. Yeah, Weed. Hopefully you get more interviews now before everyone. I know, really. This is great. Save me five minutes. What's up? Yeah, I know. I've heard. <laughs> High five me here, everybody. Heard it's good times. How's the South African team over here? Good. How's team RSA? We good, mate? Hey, man, we good. They, they've got you all organized to go. Oh, there, a big so. trip. Yeah, a big, a big trip. trip. Yeah. Again, favorable exchange rate. Maybe, maybe, maybe over there. Maybe it's gonna happen. <laughs> maybe it's gonna happen over there, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. we're gonna have some fun tonight. Thank you. Uh, Nashville's tough, man. I got. This is the channel, yeah, it's the week show right here. Doing? It looks like you work for the team. You're legit. You want to meet everybody? Yeah, like yeah you got the full <laughs> VIP access. I like it. So, um, bummer deal for Sexton. Uh, he's 40 points down and, and banged up. So, the weirdo, there's a slim chance of pulling this championship off, is uh, really out of the back. What's up, everybody? Um, and Roxton, I'm not sure. I'll try to get to his rig in a second. Um, anyway, uh, there's Honda over there. I'm going to go this way. Anyway, unpredictability in a bad way there, but even worse, I had this in the back of my mind, man. I didn't even want to say it because I didn't want anyone to think I was jinxing anything. One sec, I want to make sure this is actually recording. Yeah, we're good. Pro Circuit, they have lost titles in the most heartbreaking fashion. It's almost like the Moto Gods have said, Mitch, you've won enough. You dominated for a long time, it's 30 years plus now this team they have 299 total wins by the way in motocross and supercross together i believe they have more supercross wins um, than any of the other teams even have in both series combined it's unbelievable point is it gets worse every time now you've got the teammates crashing into each other the teammates crashing into each other and i think mcadoo is probably going to be out points wise is bad he went down with a practice crash hurt the shoulder he clearly was not 100 percent and then the crash, he crashes, and then it causes Thrasher to crash, and Nate Thrasher lands on the bad shoulder that McAdoo already had for practice. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. The two teammates running into each other, my gosh. And then um, Kitchen was able to get up, scratch out some points. Looks like he's probably banged up, but otherwise okay. But, dude, that is, you've got to start wondering about demons, karma, curse, I mean, think about the ways you go back to AC's rookie year was him, Baggett, and Davalo sweeping podiums and all three got hurt. You think of AC crashing out the 2019 title. You think of the multiple titles that Fortner appeared to have in his grasp that uh, fell away. It just happens too much to that team. My gosh. What's up, Joe? We good? Yeah, we good. We good? We good? It's getting better and better. Uh, 
I am here to celebrate some of the good news on this side, uh, which I'll tell you in a second. Is that the trophy? This is the trophy. I like you. are almost like you become a recurring Jacob Hayes guy on the show, the carrier of the trophy. I like it. I like it. So they gave a case for that. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to undo it? I'll unveil it for you. This is beautiful. Oh. Man, that is really cool. <laughs> that is really cool. I got to say, the trophies, I saw the trophies from Foxborough. They were kind of hurting. So if you're going to pick one to get, skip Foxborough and pick the one they got out here tonight. So anyway, turnabout's fair play, right? A lot of things that have been happening to Jet, the cost of the points, they'd have been weirdo randomness of racing. Certainly the Barsha run-in was not his fault. I mean, yeah, he cut down, but I mean, to get hit that bad, that is, that's some bad luck involved there. Uh, now the luck is obviously flipped with the, some of the craziness uh, that we saw. So I'm gonna talk about why, why did the luck, why, we just wanna talk about why the luck might have flipped tonight. What might have changed things we had the donut pocket. So the last weed show we talked to this man in Seattle, I didn't have a pocket square. How was your luck in Seattle? Not good? Not good. The only problem was I, pocket squares, they want us to wear those. I haven't purchased one. Carmichael gives me one every week. I barely even know what a pocket square is. Well, well what color, problem, what bud. color did, were you going to wear? What color the pocket square? The problem was any of the ones he had didn't match. So I said the streak is broken. So two streaks ending tonight. Well, you Pockets needed you needed the brown. Needed three in a row. Sorry, you needed bro. the brown. But that was it. When the pocket when the pocket square didn't happen, that, that was done. Bad vibes. I'm, I, we're gonna have it back in. Right? Okay, we'll bring it back. I, I, I'm gonna be coming seeing you before the race. Okay, we'll pocket check. Square there, Jason. Okay. Win streak ended. The win streak ended. Look at this pocket square, everybody. And donut guy. Yeah, we haven't had one since. Now since pocket we square it back. Back on top. Back on top. Back on top. I'm gonna wear. A suit jacket at the outdoors just to help you out. Dude, I'm not even please. supposed to, but I'll do it. Please get a. I, we'll get a fan or something so you don't. <laughs> yeah, Wait, you're, you're in a trailer. There. You're yeah, in a trailer anyway. You, you got yeah. AC. I got fine. the easy job. Yeah. <laughs> uh, talk about the triple into the triple before the whoops. You were doing it from the inside. Yep. Did you have to learn that? Did you figure that out on the fly? Um. Yeah, I seen the two guys in front of me yeah. doing it, and obviously uh, the first few laps were kind of. I made a few mistakes, but obviously they yeah. were kind of. Uh, yeah, stretching away from me a bit. Yeah. And uh, that was the one thing. It was like kind of a decision, like third or so lap. I'm like, well, looks faster, so we'll just do it. And kind of roughly guessed it off what they were doing, which is kind of hard because yeah. a lot of stuff they do, more well, how much gas they do, if I do the same, I go further because my bike's a bit more stiffer. Oh, okay. But I think we had some breathing room on the, uh, with the run-up. But it ended up working out better for what I was doing in the woods. So I kind of liked it even more just because it worked out better for me in the for the whoops so when you the first time you jumped it did you grease it perfect or were you I like think so. I think really I good yeah dude and you had not done it i haven't done all day all in, no i barely even looked at it really to be honest i want to ask you about the early laps of the main even when you get a bad start you don't like mad dog it and try to like pass five dudes in one turn is that a conscious decision of like let the race play out uh with certain things yes it's because on certain tracks, I mean, if you try and bulldog it and kind of take those risks, I mean, yeah. the risk versus reward, sometimes yeah. it can treat you good, then other times yeah. it, it can make it worse for you. You can try and do something and get clipped. Like, uh, I mean, you could go back to the Triple Crown at St. Louis, try making moves early and end up getting caught. That's true. And it is in the wrong place, wrong time. So You're it's right. kind of learning from that a bit and just kind of letting the race come to you. Plus, I had the guys are right there for me and I, I've been telling the team all, all, all week we've been just kind of practicing starts i'm like yeah i seem to be in top five give me top five and i feel yeah. like I can, at least i can work with that so uh we'll have a chance so yeah dude it was a rocket start in the main you didn't get the whole shot in the end but you had to feel good coming out of the like, oh, halfway yeah. down the start stretch no it was an unreal start uh the bike was really great got out of there obviously eli had a better uh, angle going in the yeah. first turn but i mean hey my goal was to be top five and yep. we'll, we'll second can i'm getting me on the first lap but uh he's always known for those stuff yeah. First life sprints, but uh, but yeah. Last thing, is there a bit of exhale? I mean, I know there's three to go, but just to turn it around a little bit, is there a little bit of like, okay, um, back on track, or can you not do that? No, I think because there's still a chance I can lose. So okay, I mean, uh, anything can happen. You can see the previous rounds. I went from going a win streak to losing streak. So we are uh, hopefully we can get it back on track. Our uh, fingers crossed, but we're gonna keep working and uh, make sure we finish the top. It's the pocket square, everybody. I appreciate the gift. Uh, we'll bring it to Philly. We'll see what happens. That was a uh, gift from Jet Lawrence, the pocket square. I did not realize. Good job, everybody. Um, I, I, if you watch our show, I'll play the clip again. In Seattle, I didn't have a pocket square, and that's the, the win streak is over. So what I did was I inherited a free 
pocket square. So once again, I have a perfect season. I haven't had to pay for one yet with these outfits. Hey, hey guys, have a great night. Thank you. We're having it. Um, what a weird, crazy season, man. And I'm starting to work on like a larger thesis, a larger idea of we keep having seasons that seem weird. And every time we're always like, wow, we didn't expect it to turn so weird. How many times can you be surprised that things turn weird before you stop being surprised and just know that crazy things are gonna happen? Now, I would like to think that nothing as tragic as the points leader at his home race, blowing out his Achilles with the championship this close, that's tragic. I don't know if it's gonna get that nutty, but uh, with some of the things we saw happen tonight and some of the things we saw happen last year, and I mean, 2022 seemed kind of procedural, but when you think about it, Tomac almost tore his knee up battling uh, at Daytona with Anderson, and Anderson almost made a late run for the title. These things seem to happen. I just wanted to check in on the Roxon crew. Looks like they're long since done. I uh, hope Kenny's gonna be okay. It's all brought to you by Race Tech and their fabulous gold valves. Suspension will be plusher, better bottoming resistance, more traction, made and engineered in the USA. Go to racetech.com. I just hope he's okay. I mean, I was, I think it's legit to say we're a little bit shaken up. I mean, when you see Sexton and Roxanne have get offs like that, when the things are outside the rider's control when it's mechanical failures, uh, it's just so scary. And that's um, the part of the sport, honestly, that doesn't get talked about a lot. Um, I can tell you so, so, so many of the off season or during the week injuries that you hear riders have, I can tell you there have been many, 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 many more than we report on that were the cause of bikes breaking. Last year at this race, we had a ton of guys get hurt. And then a ton of theories of, we shouldn't have Dragon's backs. We have shorter whoops this year. All these safety things. Honestly, when we left Nashville last year, most people were saying ban Dragon backs and drag 450, ban, ban Dragon backs, ban 454 strokes. That was the overwhelming cry I was hearing online when all the guys got hurt at this race last year. Here's the real thing that no one wants to talk about. If bikes never broke, the injury rate in this sport would probably be less than half of what it is now. It, it might be fair to say that at this level, 55 to 60% of the big injuries are caused by a bike failure. We just don't see it a lot of times because it happens during the week. Well, we got to see it with Sexton, the throttle sticking and with Roxon. I assume again, it was a shock problem. It's uh, It sucks. Anyway, um, Hunter Lawrence is over there. I'll try to talk to him before we go. But uh, Nashville, you know, I guess that's what it's all about in this town. It's it's uh, it's crazy. It's wild. It's unpredictable. They're wild nights, and we saw it in all directions tonight. Yeah, we'll wrap this show up. Um, I talked to Hunter Lawrence. No, he does not consider it a racing incident uh, with Jason Anderson. He is uh, not happy, and he's got Dunlop tire tracks on his forearm. So that's how that one ended. Uh, one more update. We're still not done with the weed show. Um, party's over. Over here. We got monster cans and green confetti on the ground. I just asked Mitch, Mitch Payton if he's got any injury updates on his guys. He said not yet. Obviously, he seems super bummed. Because I don't even know if Kitchen's okay, to be honest. I mean, it was unbelievable that he came through for 14th, but adrenaline can do amazing things. This doesn't mean that he's fine. We don't know. Um... You want to know what's unbelievable? Currently, if Kitchen's not 100%, all five riders on Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki are injured at the moment. Hammaker got hurt last week, didn't race here. We know McAdoo got banged up. We know Fortner is already out. Max Voland hurt his hip. He's done. For now, at least. I don't know what Kitchen's status is. They might have a... This could be a five-rider team that doesn't have anybody at the race next week. That's, that's unbelievable. Like, I can't think of a run. We, we talked so much about the curse of the goat last year with Honda. But look, they didn't win a title for 20 years. For the most part, they just weren't the best guys. They just didn't win the title because they didn't win the title. I cannot think of anybody who has had this type of bad luck run where it's like, it's just defeat being snatched from the jaws of victory over and over and to have it be two guys running into each other it, it just makes you wonder like what 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 is the what is the karma of that like i mean 
look, most of these crashes, like anything that happened tonight, these are just rando things. This has nothing to do with a motorcycle or the way the guys approach racing. Like, I don't, I don't even know. You know. Any two guys can hit each other in the second turn. We saw stuff like that all night. So just super duper bummed for uh, Mitch Payton and the Pro Circuit team. I mean, they do not deserve this. Uh, yes, they won a lot for a long time, but they're back to underdog status. And I think people would have loved to have seen those guys win. Plus, I think people like McAdoo and Kitchen. If Fortner had hung on, I think it's a great redemption story. Not going to happen this year. Um, Kitchen's still got a shot. But uh, we'll see what condition he's in. Anyway, it's super dark. And that's Vegas, and they're going off. Nash Vegas. Okay, again, see you in Philly.